Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be having a look at another movie car franchise that we have in GTA Online. And as I mentioned in the previous episode, today we're going to be having a look at the Roadkill TV series. Now just in case you guys don't know what the Roadkill TV series is, it is basically a challenge series where two blokes... Mike Finnegan and David Freiberger uh, do a number of challenges in some old American cars. They do engine swaps in car parks, they go on long distance road trips and they do a bit of drag racing as well. It's just a lot of fun, it's a great TV series if you haven't watched it. If you are into petrol headism then I would definitely recommend it for you. And we have a few of their vehicles in GT Online, which I'm going to be going over in today's episode. And just before we get into the video, if you want to see the previous episodes we've done of these, there is now a playlist linked in the description, which has all the movie car series that we've done so far, including the main, including the complete list, which I list all the movie cars we already have. Well, that's enough talking, let's just get into it and start at the beginning. So the first car we have, probably one of the more iconic road kill cars, is Stubby Bob. And this is a Ford F100 dump truck that they shortened, the, well they removed the bed, shortened up the chassis, and then they put a crate motor on the back, and then fitted it with this awesome looking bug catcher. And we can actually get this in GT Online, obviously the Apocalypse Slam Van right there. Um, you just have to remove the snow plow off this, you can add a few roll cages and stuff. But it does look pretty similar, not 100% but it's clear that that is what it's based on. The second one is actually um, an older vehicle in GT Online and you can actually get this one pretty accurate. It is the Crusher Camaro. And all you got to do for this one, take the Vigero, paint it yellow. Now, you can't actually get the remove bonnet look that I have got here. Um, you can get the blow up, but if you just open the bonnet and drive really quick, then the bonnet will fly off and then you have that remove bonnet look. And then I've just gone for some simple muscle wheels there in chrome. And it's a pretty accurate build, to be honest. At number three, we have the... Chevrolet Impala now this one isn't very close um, I couldn't get this that close to the actual um, TV car um, because obviously I couldn't get the rusted outlook if you go for the Apocalypse um, Impala it isn't actually as close it has big drag tires on the side and it's not as a close vehicle um, so unfortunately there's no rusted out livery for the regular Impaler and there's no sort of roadkill signing on the side but you can get the blue colour quite similar you can obviously get the big bug catcher and you can get some very similar wheels so I decided to put this one on the list not 100% accurate um, it's not that close but if you're having a roadkill TV show sort of car meet or something like that then I think people will understand this this car Next we have David Freiberger's Macho Grande and um, for this one I've used the Rancher XL. Now the colour was really hard to well, sort of match. Um, there isn't many green options like this in GT Online. Uh, so in the end I ended up going for a Sandy Brown. That was the closest sort of colour I could get. It's sort of a creamy green colour, the real car. Um, but there's no green option like that. You could always go for a crew colour and try and match it um, But the closest one I could find in GT Online was Sandy Brown So if you're going for this build Then that is the one to go for then I've just got some off-road wheels here and obviously painted them white to match Next we have Mike Finnegan's wife's El Camino um, this is the one that they did the engine swap in a car park with. A pretty cool episode and an awesome vehicle in the Roadkill fleet. There is uh, a couple of episodes where this thing features. Um, as I said, it is Mike Finnegan's wife's car. 
and it is a 1968 Chevrolet El Camino and for this one I have used the Cheval Picador um, basically um, GT Online's version of an El Camino I've painted it silver and then gone for these sport wheels and I think it looks pretty similar and um, there's not much you can change on the Picador um, but it is a pretty stock El Camino other than those wheels and that is good to go and the last car we have on this list is the Gremi it is an AMC Gremlin now for this one I've decided to go with the Rhapsody technically based off an AMC Pacer instead of the Gremlin um, but it's the closest car we have in GT Online to the AMC Gremlin and if you paint it green and go for these muscle wheels it does look kind of similar um, not 100% but again if you're having a roadkill car show then I definitely think people will understand this car um, as I said gone for the Rhapsody with this one and I painted it British Racing Green and that is about all you need to do with it that is going to do it for this list though guys thank you all so much for watching if there's any cars that I've missed off this as always let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel as well, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be releasing more of these episodes in the future. And we've already covered the Fast and Furious franchise and Mad Max franchise. Uh, next, we're going to be covering the James Bond franchise. So if you want to see that, then definitely stick around here. And um, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you did find this useful. That is going to do it from me though, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode.